Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration I'll show you how to work with scenarios. There are several different ways of doing that in Excel. I'm going to show you the recommended one and then I'm going to do another one that might be simpler and um, whichever one you, you prefer. I'm going to go into the data view here and here we have something called what if analysis and uh, there I can work with scenarios. There are no scenarios defined here now, but in a scenario you define some uh, numbers that might change. And of course everything in this might change, but the big factors here might be the interest rate, for example, that's out of control for most people, and maybe the property tax. So in uh, the um, old tradition of hoping for the best and preparing for the worst, I'm going to uh, do a worst case scenario here if the property tax goes up and the interest rates picks up also and we can see the results based on that. So let's add a new scenario. Let's do the historic scenario first. And the changing cells is of course uh, the uh, interest rates then and I'm going to control click and select the property tax also. So those two cells might change. Low taxes and uh, stable interest. Okay, we'll call that. And press OK, and here you see it's entering those values there, the B6. It's the interest rate, so I'm going to do that as 4.5%, and this is the one we have right now. So let's do that one, and then do a worst case. And you see it's already suggesting those cells, same cells, of course, yes. And I'm going to call that high interest plus high taxes. All right, and uh, now I'm going to put the interest at uh, a rather high 8.5%, and the tax property tax rate is going to go up to 2.5%. So here we have these two different cases now. And as you see, what I can do with these scenarios now is go ahead and show the historic one. No change, of course, in the worst case, and I'm going to show that. And you see the values go up a bit by that. So uh, that's how you use scenarios. And of course that is a better way of doing it than, than the other one, which would be to do this, to actually go ahead and um, have the home cost historic, and then do a copy of that, of that and call that worst case. And there I could change the values there to 8.5 and that one to 2.5 percent. So those are two different ways of working with scenarios. The uh, scenario manager is of course the more powerful one and uh, it doesn't require you to have um, several sheets. But whichever one you prefer, whichever you f feel is more useful for you might work. The most important thing is that you use Excel to st simulate different values. That's one of the things that Excel is really good at. Thank you for watching this demonstration.